When we talk about SOLIDWORKS file management, custom properties are a vital piece of information to help keep your design structured and organized. Information such as who created a file, who approved a file and when it was approved, what material was used, or what finish standard should be applied are just a few examples of how custom properties can be used to help manage files in SOLIDWORKS. However, creating these custom properties and entering their values can be a time-consuming and cumbersome process open to misspellings and incorrect values or many other types of errors. And if you have multiple configurations, the process just got much longer and open to even more errors. Did you know there is a more convenient automated method to create and enter these values quickly right inside the SOLIDWORKS task pane? The Property Tab Builder is an existing, easy-to-use tool where you can create a standard list of user-defined custom properties that are then saved as a special template and applied to parts, assemblies, drawings, and weldments. Templates can then be filled in quickly and consistently, eliminating the extra steps of navigating into the properties dialog to manually create and enter property information. With just a few clicks, values can be entered or changed, and when you click Apply, the properties are created and updated accordingly. Let's spend a few minutes to take a look at how to create and use a basic custom property template created by the Property Tab Builder. The first thing we need to do is launch the Property Tab Builder. From within SOLIDWORKS in the Task pane on the Custom Property tab, you can click the Create Now button. The application launches with a blank template containing three columns. The left column displays a list of available attributes that can be used. The center column is where you build your profile's layout. This is what the template will look like when displayed to the user in the SOLIDWORKS task pane. The right column is where you can set the options for each attribute. The information is dynamic, and the options will vary depending on the attribute selected for editing. Once you're familiar with the layout, it only takes a few simple steps to create a basic template. In the right column, using the Type dropdown, select the SOLIDWORKS file type for which the template will be used to create custom properties. This is how SOLIDWORKS maps the custom properties to each specific SOLIDWORKS file type. In the message box, add any special instructions you want to present to the user pertaining to that template. Notice the text displays in the center column. Let's add a few more attributes and configure them. Each attribute must be placed inside a group. The group boxes can be labeled to help organize a template with many custom properties. By clicking on the group boxes header, it activates the options for that attribute. I'll label this group box file details to create the part number and description properties. I'll then add a text box to the file options group box and configure the options by selecting the text box. I'll enter part number as the caption to display to the user, then enter number as the actual custom property. I'll select text as the type and leave the value blank for the user to fill in. Since the part number will be unique for each configuration and I want this property to display on the configuration tab of the property manager, I'll click the Configuration button, and I'll leave the read-only checkbox cleared. If it's selected, the value would be displayed, but the box would be grayed out, and the user would not be able to change the value. Next, I'll add the remaining properties and organize my layout. Now that our template layout is complete and the options have been set, the template needs saved for use in SOLIDWORKS. If this is your first time creating any custom templates for SOLIDWORKS, then prior to creating any custom property templates, I suggest creating a local folder to manage all custom files to help prevent overwrite or loss of the files during an upgrade or reinstallation. For example, you could create a folder named SOLIDWORKS Custom on the root of your C drive, or a network location could be used for a multi-user environment so all users are referencing the same templates. If you choose to create and manage a custom folder for templates or other ancillary files, Make a copy of the properties text file from the default installation location to the custom folder where the custom property templates will be stored. The properties text file is a list of properties displayed in the drop-down list when manually creating custom properties. Once the storage location is determined, the SOLIDWORKS file location needs updated to point to that location. Now that I've determined the template storage location and set the SOLIDWORKS file location, I'll save the custom property template with a descriptive name. Now, whenever I start a new part or open an existing part, the template will be displayed in the task pane. I'll enter the values and click Apply to automatically create them in the Properties dialog. The result is the custom properties defined in the template were automatically created in the specific properties tab. 
Returning to the property tab builder, to save time creating other templates, I can simply save the part template as an assembly or drawing type and then modify it to fit my needs. Here, my drawing template will only require who drafted and approved the drawing. I'll save the template and open a drawing. Here you can see the template ready to be completed. I'll click apply and the properties are created automatically. Now that you know the basics of the SOLIDWORKS property tab builder, create templates for your next project so you can spend more time focused on design and less time adding and managing custom properties.